Hello, Divine Ones, we greet you in love. Today, we are so happy and excited to talk with you about your mindset, and today, we want to invite you to consider that the real way you create your life and you engage light skillfully is by creating the state, the conditions, the environment of your mind. You create your experience of your mind. Your mind has the capacity to be and to express in many different ways. Think of your mind as the combination of your brain and your eternal consciousness. It's the way you know your experience, and the experience that you have depends on how you create your mind or your mindset. The reason it matters to do this intentionally is that your mind can be something which gives you pleasure or pain. You've all experienced this. You've all had those nights when you wake up, and you're stressed about something, and your mind makes you crazy. You tend to attribute your experience to your mindless when you're feeling positive, but when you're feeling incredible, that's because in your mind too, it's because of your capacity to receive an experience based on your mindset, and all of this is within your control. Today, we want to talk about this because your mind can be open and radiant or congested and depressing. Your mindset is developing all the time and it's completely of your own making so you can shape it any way you like. Creating a mind that is shiny and open and available to high frequencies and discovering what it's like to live with that is way to know who you really are. What if the way you think shaped your mind? What if, what you paid attention to shaped your mind? What if what you invested your energy in becoming established in your mind? What if what you stopped paying attention to just fell out of your mind? was no longer active or present. Well, that is how it works. You create your mind, and your mind entirely shapes your experience. There's two aspects to your mind that we want to speak about. There's the autopilot part that happens without effort, and there's the conscious, intentional part, and we want to give you an example of how that might be beneficial for you and what you can do to shape both parts of your mind in ways that elevate your life. This morning Alia saw this ad on Facebook. It was for a retreat with the Buddhist teacher Pema Khadran, who she likes, so she watched the video, and the video for the retreat had Pema telling a very simple story. This is the story she told. She was talking about how your viewpoint can change, and we're going to build on this, so let us tell you this short story. You wake up, and you're in bed, and you're inside a house, and it's raining and because you're inside the house, you hear the sound of the rain on the roof. It's a very beautiful sound, and you've just woken up, and you hear the rain, and it fills you with peace and joy. Then she says, now, if you have an outdoor wedding plan for today, wouldn't your response be different? Yes, and this is where what you've invested in matters. If you have an outdoor wedding plan for today, and you wake up to the sound of rain, you might be inclined to be upset or unhappy or angry, and as Pema pointed out in the video, you discover how the way you think shapes the way you feel. We want to take this further. Of course, in this example, your viewpoint relative to what you had planned for the day and what you woke up to is part of what's going to be in play. This is where it gets really interesting and has to do with your mindset because if, if you're a person who has been practicing a mindset of ease and cultivating thoughts that things go your way, if you've been building positive ascending momentum, you might find that you enjoy the rain and expect it to stop before the wedding, leaving the air clear and fresh and everything sparkling and clean and beautiful. See the difference? If you've been feeling and thinking that life isn't going your way, if you've got descending momentum going on, and you haven't been cultivating the environment of your mind, you might very easily get very angry and also use this manifest experience as fuel to further that unhappy pattern of thought by thinking, oh my gosh, hey race yet another thing that isn't working out for me. Do you feel the difference in the momentum that gets furthered by your response to this, and do you see how your existing momentum might come into play automatically or intentionally in every moment of your experience? Of course, you do because you're smart. You realize now that only you can create this momentum in your life, and that you're doing it. You're creating your mindset in the state of your mind day in, day out. The state of your mind has to do with your frequency and how you're focused in your state of alignment, and you can change this. You can change it. You can change it at any time in any moment. We've often made the suggestion to interrupt things and to let go of what's going on, 
to interrupt what's not feeling good, to reach for anything that gives you a little relief. We go further with this right now by saying any investment you make in a positive mindset benefits you. Any time in your day, you can tell yourself something nice, something positive, something cheerful, something uplifting, something unconditional, even. Every time you do this, you are fostering beneficial ways of using your attention, and you're investing your focus in ways that create your mind in open, spacious, elevated expression. Your mind can be a temple. Your mind can be a temple, a beautiful light-filled space in which divine, high-frequency light flows in, and when your mind functions like this, you feel nourished and held, loved, supported, connected, resourced, abundant, free. Your mind can be the sanctuary of incredible steady empowerment. Your mind is capable of that. Your mind can give you a feeling of safety and stability. Your mind is capable of being created in a way that elevates and inspires you consistently. It can be the source of you feeling fabulous moment after moment after moment, and you can achieve that kind of state and that experience by investing in our mindset in ways that feel good. Your mind can be your ally, but like all relationships, your mind thrives when it's treated with respect. When you respect and understand the power of your mind, you use it to create an environment that is receptive and in accord, in harmony, in resonance with elevated frequencies, and you do this by thinking elevated thoughts. You honor yourself and your mind by no longer giving into lower frequency patterns of thought. Even though they might come up and even though they might seem so easy and familiar, when they do come up, you refuse to invest further in them, and when you notice they come up, you pivot. You withdraw your attention from them. You turn, instead, toward something that serves you a little more, something that really honors and respects you, in your thinking. This is wisdom, dear friends, and this is loving yourself. This is honoring yourself and using what you've remembered and your know-how to be the best version of you here that you can be. This is taking excellent care of your mind because your mind creates your experience and the environment of your mind matters. You can shape it for yourself in a way that's extremely beneficial, and it's a tremendous gift to everyone else when you respect and honor yourself in this way. Of course, you're free to live in whatever way you choose, but we feel certain that given your tendency to co create with us that you, too, are interested in being here as a conduit of clarity, as a beacon of light and joy as a presence of fulfillment and love and coherence and clarity. We know that you want to have a wonderful life and that you aspire to even better experiences. Well, all of that can happen. It's all possible. It's not even hard. It's not even hard because no matter where you are and no matter how it's going, and no matter how it's been going, or no matter what has already happened, what's happening next is all about what's happening right now. What is happening right now in your mind, and how are you going to feed your mind today? How are you going to relate to your mind today thinking about and understanding what we're sharing here? What kind of momentum are you going to build? What are you going to create? Every moment is a fresh start. Use it that way. Use it that way. Use your mind to encourage and support you with positive thought. Understand that you're free to choose whatever you want to think about and what you invest your energy in. When you say even the simplest elevating things to yourself such as, Hey, we're doing really great. Let's keep going. Let's stay with it. That alone is so simple, and it makes your life better, and it fosters a more positive mindset. It's really so simple to live, enjoy, and create unconditionally. Light flows at your command but you have to do it. You have to embrace your freedom of focus. Now, you've learned this, you felt it, and today, we invite you to realize your mind is of our own making, and when you not only invest in thinking positive thoughts in the present, but realize what you invest in creates patterns and habits that serves you, you make life so much easier because this is how things change and improve in big ways. Imagine how far you can go when the thoughts you think intentionally are positive and encouraging and hopeful and aligned with what you want. And the thoughts that happen on autopilot start to be the new ones you're establishing and also building through positive patterns of thought. That is liberation, and that is living skillfully and wisely and letting the way your beautiful mind works work for you, 
allowing yourself to create a mindset that stabilizes your life and serves your joy. If you've never considered this a priority before, we invite you today to do so. We are complete.